tutorial is designed specifically for students while working within their teams, a step-by-step -step tutorial to help them through the process of making a high-quality proposal. This is for project-based learning. And as we take you through step-by-step, -step, remember the five steps of teaming so that you can have an effective meeting in making all of these decisions and moving forward with your proposal. Let's begin. First, choose your topic. Bigger categories for topics might be social or political, economical, or about science, or personal or educational issues, or about the environment or culture. Subtopics are endless underneath each of these topic categories. The driving question. The center of your proposal and your dialogue with your team members is the driving question. What is your primary goal? What is it that you wish to accomplish? Within these questions, you will go back to the driving question as you make all other decisions for your project. Ultimately, you want to ask yourselves, what is the positive impact? What is our intention? And how do we want our audience to walk away with a positive impact from our presentation? Begin with simply documenting your project's title. Include the topic, your intent, the text, which we will discuss in further detail, and consider your audience. Who is your target audience? What grade level or age is your audience, gender or culture? What considerations would you like to make about your audience before you begin to design your project? Please indicate a group number or name and then indicate the individual members' names of your team. Remember, your proposal must be signed by your supervisor before production can begin. So what are product types or text? Examples would be a PSA, a public service announcement, or perhaps a commercial is included in your presentation. Perhaps there's a trailer, which is a highlight, a preview of a mini-movie. Perhaps your text is a mini-movie of 3 to 15 minutes long, or maybe more in-depth, a mini-documentary, a movie that would go up to about 15 minutes long. Other intended products or texts. Uh, would be in a wide variety, such as brochures or posters. You might decide that you want to create business cards, t-shirts for your team, or PowerPoints or other programming to show while you're speaking to your audience. Perhaps your presentation and proposal includes musical performance or other types of theatrical performances. Perhaps there are some live video conferences included. Perhaps it's a website that you create. The text with technology has endless possibility. What are the strengths of each of your team members? Take a moment to dialogue with your team about this so that your team knows how they can best contribute to the success of your project. So based on your topic and the ideas for your presentation and project, what are the strengths that you can bring to the table? What are some of the resources that you might be able to tap into to create an effective project and presentation? What technology might be used? Can you list your choices and the purpose that you chose those types of technology? What other resources will you tap into? Will you be giving interviews to people, for example? Will you need some equipment that your supervisor should know about? Would you be contacting community organizations or national or international organizations or outside services? So, let's get going. 
How are you planning on accomplishing your goals? Please include the following information for each team member. What would your job title be? What are you contributing to this project? And what tasks do you need to complete to do your part of the job? Within those tasks, then what action steps do you need to take to actually accomplish your task? And perhaps it would be a good idea here to indicate a timeline. Approvals are indicated by your team members and you should initial this as an indication of your approval of each person's job. Reminders from your supervisors is that you'll need permission, uh, giving 24 hours minimum, please, before these types of uh, permissions are given. If you anticipate leaving the room to interview or take photography, for example, perhaps you need to reserve extra equipment or you need to arrange to work with other classes or teachers. And please remember that your supervisors would need approval before any phone calls, emails, letters, invitations, or any other public relations goes out to others. The presentation itself is another whole tutorial, but basically you want to start to brainstorm about what will your presentation look like? And what do you anticipate to need for equipment? What will the roles of the various team members be while you present? Is someone running technology? Is someone the MC or does the introductions? Is someone performing during the presentation? Remember that your team will have a scheduled practice to get comfortable before your presentation. If you need more information or a proposal checklist, go to reinventedforsuccess.com. Let's get proposing!